Hello and what is going on everybody? My name is All Day OBJ here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys um, a quick gameplay commentary. Uh, the gameplay you guys are going to be seeing in the background is a I think a 53 and 9 gameplay it was private matches. We were um, just doing some private match uh, hard point competitive that all that good stuff. Um, it was me and my good friend Spraying Moth on one team, and then a couple other guys on the other. It was a 2v4, but we still managed to totally beast them. Um, I think I went, I'm not sure. I got a canine unit during this gameplay. Um, it's just stuff like that. As I said, 53 kills. Pretty darn good gameplay. But anyways, now to the commentary topic for today. And what I'm going to be talking about is my expectations for ghosts. So... There's just been a ton of anticipation for this new game, and I'm super excited for it. I know I'm just going to be playing it a ton on the release date, all that good stuff. I'm just insanely excited for it. I just can't wait till it comes out. I just want it to come out now. Um, and I just, I'm, I'm just really looking forward to this game, and hopefully um, you guys are looking forward to it a lot too. And as you can see right here, I'm close to my canine unit. Look at this shot in the back. Go up, give him the blade for the canine unit but anyways guys about ghosts so uh it, it just looks awesome um the, the multiplayer reveal is going to be on the 14th of august so i'm definitely going to be watching that um i'm not sure when this video is going to be uploaded because i am going to be on vacation during this time i'm going to be doing scheduled uploads but um I don't, i'm not sure when it's uploaded but right now it's before the 14th when i'm doing this commentary um but at this point, the multiplayer re reveal might have already been out. I'm not really sure. But I can't wait to see that. I'm really excited for that. And also, I just want to talk about my expectations. So, for Ghosts, I'm hoping to have a game that, first of all, has good connections. Because Black Ops 2, I think, would have been probably the best COD if it wasn't for the connections. Because, to be honest, this game is a totally connection-based. It's not really, like, it it's just all about the connections, really. If you have a bad connection that works in your favor, sometimes people have bad connections that hurt them a lot. But if you have a bad connection that works in your favor, you just destroy everybody. That's why I like MW3 so much, at least that's one of the reasons. Is because the connections are great in MW3. And there really, there really isn't really such thing as an online warrior in that game. Which is really nice. Um, and hopefully, Infinity Ward games have always had great connections. MW2 had flawless connections i'm ready three had really good connections as well so hopefully uh they keep the keep the the connection stuff going um because i really hope it has good connections so that's one thing i uh, really want to be in ghosts as well as i want to like i want the guns to be like balanced i don't want because having just one gun that everybody uses just that that's not fun it's just there's no gun variety and hopefully we're not forced to use perks e either because in Black Ops 2, you are really forced, to, like if you're playing ground war, you're forced to wear flak jacket. There's really no question about it because if someone's using C4s, you just don't stand a chance against them unless you have flak jacket. Just absolutely can't do anything about it. And if you're hit by a concussion grenade or any of that, like you're you're screwed basically. So we pretty much have to use tack mask. Um, and you pretty much have to use flak jacket, and you kind of, in a way, like, you don't have to use these perks, but in a way, you kind of have to at the same time. Ho hopefully that made some sense. If not, then, oh well, but, um, hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying. It So hopefully you're not forced to, um, to use any sort of perks, because I, I don't want to have to be, you know, forced to u use up points on my well i'm not sure if it's going to be a pick 10 game just like black ops 2 was but i just don't want to be i just don't want to have to have to use a certain perk always um just because a certain aspect of the game is so overpowered for example c4s and black ops 2 so hopefully it's not like that like what, what i like about mw3 was that concussions and c4s and you know nades weren't insanely overpowered but if you really really didn't like them if you just couldn't stand them then you would use Blast Shield, but pretty much no one used Blast Shield because not very many people minded being concussioned and that kind of stuff because the equipment when the equipment was more a lot more balanced, I think. So I think hopefully um, the equipment will become better. 
And then another thing I want is um, hopefully the C4 gets nerfed because because to be honest that's a huge problem. Like the C4 is just ridiculous. It's like a primary weapon basically, and it's, a lot of times it's better than a primary. It, it's just ridiculous. And hopefully they give that that hopefully they tone that down basically as well because I really really hope they do that. So C4s hopefully just aren't as OP as they currently are now, and that'd be really really awesome. But anyways, that's about all I have um, to say like about expectations for ghosts. I just want a good game, good gun balance, no OP equipment, that kind of stuff, um, and good connection most of all. But anyways, that's the end of the game. Final score, 53-9. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.